we're in eclipse season. Um, the, there are going to be three this summer. There's going to be one in Cancer, July 13th or 12th for some of you, um, and one in Aquarius, and then another one in Leo. The first one, which is in Cancer, is a partial solar eclipse, but it's exactly opposite Pluto, the Darth Vader of the solar system. Um, and Pluto is in Capricorn, where he's been for ages, he, um, messing up and changing and transforming the how the world is governed, um, the international order, as we've all been witnessing. So that's what Pluto's been up to. It's opposite this eclipse in Cancer, which is all about families and children, yeah, and patriotism and nationalism. So that's international... Uh, government and actually national government as well opposite to families that is um, it will obviously manifest differently for each of you in your own charts but there is something in there about power and innocence corruption and innocence um, something truth that gets straight to the point because Pluto can be the truth as well okay now there's the second eclipse 27th of July which is also incredibly conjunct a very harsh planet, okay? It's conjoined by Mars, almost exactly. Um, Mars is in Aquarius, which is the sign of community. And um, this total lunar eclipse is also in Aquarius. Um, you'll, it will be different for each of us in our signs, but I have to say that there may be something about, you know, women or your mother or something like that going on um, but it may also have a more wider application about the your wider community however I want to say something about this Mars retrograde Mars is currently retrograde as I'm speaking and uh, sometimes it gets a bad press but actually if you are able to let go of something during this Mars retrograde and especially around the eclipse it's a fantastic moment. It's a moment to let go of your anger, let go of aggression, let go of that warring side of your nature. Because Mars, when he's retrograde, is Mars as a lover, of a lover of Venus. Um, and what does that mean? If you don't let go, then things can go rather awry with Mars retrograde. If you keep on trying to forge ahead and push forward, you have to relax. Anyway, have a relaxing summer and see you later.